Hi, my name's Louise Moriarty and I'm here today to read you my chapter that's going to be in the Pebbles in the Pond anthology and it's about my circus practice. I've called my chapter Tribal Love. Happiness flows when doing what you love leads you to your tribe. Welcome to my world. I live in the land of the dreaming of an ancient culture of the earth. I acknowledge the lineage of all the ancestors who have walked before me, paving the way for us to have this experience. I also bless and acknowledge you for taking the journey of the truth seeker. The lost years. Something always felt like it was missing from my life. I would fluctuate between it being me, my family, the system, our culture. I wanted to be cradled in a certainty that I belonged and people got me. To protect myself from the not happily ever after relationships I had thrown myself into, I shed my childhood skin and put on a tattoo armour to protect myself. This connected me to a biker culture. Clustering together against the unfairness of the system and the authorities, we felt like our backs were covered. Drugs were a big part of this way of life. Masking pain and grief became the priority. I became numb to how we were treating each other and alienating ourselves from what mattered to us. There were many times I wondered how I was going to survive. I'd run away from what was called normal into drug and love addiction, violent relationships, blaming and fighting everyone and everything. I trashed and denied myself, shut down and created suffering for myself and others around me. I tolerated all of it because I felt like I had a mob that would stick by me and let me express everything I felt, even the rage that had bubbled up inside me. Eventually, what I was running from was reflected more and more in the life I had created. It was a neighbour, a connection, who acknowledged my essence. She subtly intervened without judgement, gave me books of hope to read and saw through the me I had become, reinforcing the inner me that loved life and had a gift. I started teaching and learning gymnastics again. I now had something to hold on to that felt good about, that I felt good about, that I was good at. I had relearned the art of doing what I loved. This gave me a focus to walk away from the things in my life that weren't making me happy towards something that made me feel like the real me. I was still looking for my tribe. I searched in one healing modality after another, exploring spiritual practices and studying social work. While on a placement interview, the woman asked me about my skills. I got excited about juggling and then dismissed it. She told me, you never dismiss anything that made you smile like that because you never knew when it could come in handy. I was starting to get my life back on track, filling up my toolkit with trips, tricks and tips for healing and I wanted to start saving everyone with what had helped me. The new circus culture. I volunteered to teach gymnastics at a youth circus school. This gave me entrance into new circus culture. What I found was the first tribal culture that had grown to be global. No matter where I went, if I saw circus people, I could ask them where they were from, who they knew, and we would exchange skills and resources and start creating together. A big sense of family. At Student Actions Against Uranium Mining, some of us found out we were involved in community circus and we had an instant connection. We could involve everyone in creating a show and get our message across in an entertaining and challenging way. At that action, I was also blown away by the joy and natural agility of the Aboriginal kids in the desert. They had the aerial awareness to throw their body through the air. No technique, just the naturalness of a bird flying and then always landing right side up like a cat. They were connected and had no question that they belonged, even though it appeared life had pulled the land out from under their feet. My desire to steer teenagers and children away from the path I had gotten lost on led me to American learning disability camps, an Indian orphanage 
and then out to far west New South Wales in Australia. Now, circus was the vehicle. We could incorporate all the things I loved. Circus, storytelling, dancing, poetry, music and gardening, weaving it into programs, performances and tours. Circus gave everyone a chance to explore their ability to create. We involved the whole community and linked to other communities around Australia who were also using circus with disaffected youth and adult survivors. We travelled to circus festivals where the young people were treated as equals with the professional circus artists. Dreams come true. Circus to save the world. What amazing dreams we made come true. People came from all over the world to share in this experience. The passion we had for what we were doing was like a magnet. We were blessed with support from Cirque du Monde, an offshoot of Cirque du Soleil who supports circus programs for youth at risk in 80 countries around the world. We trained and collaborated with circus trainers and social workers from far and wide. We found other people who are in agreement that circus could save the world. Reg Bolton, a legend who seeded much of the circus culture in Australia, had been sprouting this stuff for decades. His view being that circus is about knowing your strengths, showing off, being proud of who you are, your skills, taking risks, touching and trusting, knowing where you belong in the group, dreaming, aspiring and having fun. All the basic needs of a healthy, developing being. Now, I give myself love and care as a first priority, so I can have a full cup to give from. My passion will always be creating a love of lifelong learning through arts practices and celebrations to enhance the world. I continue to share that vision of our evolutionary potential in my circus activities and events with communities and woven into storytelling and multiple intelligence teaching at school. Being connected to circus people has reminded me to play and not to take life too seriously. I found a tribe that I can run with. It doesn't have to work that way just with circus people. The tribal skills uncovered in circus I now transfer to all my interactions. Connecting to people from a heart space of what they love, giving my gifts unconditionally and supporting and serving them to enable their gifts to shine in these amazing times. We have never been so supported in our multiple tribal connections. Taking responsibility for going towards what my heart truly loved to do changed everything. It began my return journey back out through hopelessness and despair. So let the impossible become possible for you. Still feeling stuck? I dreamt that I could fly as a child. I still believe it's possible. When I'd learned to tumble, I had the sensation of being able to trick the body into doing things that don't seem possible. I was flying. You don't have to do somersaults to get this awareness. Learning to juggle or even mastering simple brain games can create new connections between your right and left brain. Through these activities, we grow the ability to link the creative and linear sides of our brains enabling pathways of actions towards your dreams. Have an experience for yourself. Point one finger to your nose, then cross the other arm in front of your face to touch your ear, then swap them over. By practicing things that appear simple, you can learn that things aren't always as they seem. With practice, what seems impossible can become possible. This creates new pathways of movement in our body. Old habit patterns and emotions held in our bodies can create stress and disease. If we laugh out loud at our response, gain flexibility to attempt new activities, get over our fears of failing and looking silly, we are rewiring everything. Anytime we do things differently with our body, we are beginning to form new patterns of choice and action that enable us to explore new possibilities for ourselves. So let yourself do something you've always wanted to do. For young people or anyone else looking to find their passions and a group that will nurture them, 
circus is a great starting place. Now that you've read something that I trust inspired you, get out there, do more of the things that make your heart sing and find the people who are singing in harmony with you. No matter how homeless, in debt, upset, in regret you are, the place to start is by cheering yourself on and doing one thing you love for you. You'll find that the whole world can open up like, like a circus. You can find out more about me and put your name down on the mailing list for my free teacher training juggling video that's coming out in the future. Um, I also do poetry, which I'd love to write a poem for you if you've enjoyed having an experience with me. You can log on to my Facebook page, The Poet Louise Moriarty. Look forward to seeing you somewhere. Thanks for your time. Get out there and enjoy.